Pre-sales have begun. We're going to take a look at some of the earliest pre-sales for well, Darkwing Blast and some fantastic playmat deals for you guys as well. Make sure you guys smash the living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. I want to highlight this Ophidian sale going on. If you use code mcole 40 over here on the website, you will get the chance to save on your purchase. All of these cloth playmats are marked down to $20. You're going to get an extra dollar or so off your purchase as well. If this is something that you maybe haven't heard of or maybe something you're considering or you're in the market for a new playmat, well, I mean, come over here and give this an opportunity. There's a couple of really nice looking ones over here. The Horus one, in my opinion, looks really good. Um, if you're a middle shape player, well, you've got something over here. There's four pages of play mats for you to go through. Fantastic option trees over here for something that you might find. Maybe you don't want, or you know, like, yeah, 20 bucks for a new play mat seems about right. All right, so pre sales over here for <laughs> this. First of all, to be completely honest with you, um, when we look at pre-sales, it's just kind of like a benchmarker to see where people are setting, you know, prices at this point. So, fifty dollars for a Rula Carlos? No, this thing is a one of. We're not paying that. Um, now this one, this one is a little bit more, uh, more my pace here. Forty-seven have sold in twenty-four hours. Wow. Yeah, people are looking at Fenrir right now and going, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with paying this price point, which is, is perfectly understood. But like, holy crap, that's amazing. How, how many of these, how many of these have sold? Uh, seven have sold? What? That's insane to me. Bestial Lubellion, 14 have sold. Well, to be honest with you, um, I'm not surprised about this. Considering the fact that this is the searcher for the new beast or by steel cards, um, gives you access to just a discard to search. I mean, not every deck will play this. I just want to like point that out. Like, you know, most of the work is going to be done by Magnema and Jerusalem. But for the most part, if you want to like extend out your package or something, it is a dragon, so Dragon Link will get an opportunity to play this. All right, so Dragon Link will actually undergo its next evolution once this ends up coming out here. But that's uh, that's definitely something here. What else we got going on down here? Well, Saranir for six bucks is whatever. How many of these have sold? Twenty of these have sold in the last couple of hours. Well, I can't say that I'm surprised about this, considering the fact that this card, I, everybody keeps telling me, you're like, Robbie, it doesn't only out Link's, it also outs Tower's monster. Well, yeah, no crap. When I specifically mentioned Link monsters, I was talking about, like, the Attic Dister Link 6 and things like that. Yes, the card does out Tower's. Uh, the classification for this is because the player sends, not the card. The only thing that this card does is it forces the player to interact in a way, in a manner. It's how Yu-Gi-Oh! kind of gets around, like, like unaffected certain effects like evenly because it goes after the player you all right definitely an interesting way here but 20 of those have sold at ten dollars sprint for 45 okay only one is sold <laughs> that's a that's a wee little bit much in my opinion huh we got 15 copies of the unicorn that have sold at twenty dollars I mean, I think a lot of people are just definitely getting ready for the Shotry Law stuff, which is perfectly understandable. Choose your singles. This is Choose My Adventure. Oh my god, how much are Spellbounds for $45? 61 copies have sold? What? Wow. Holy moly. Bro, everything. They have everything listed up here. Uh, the Great Noodle. I can't think of any of the other... Oh, uh, let's see here. Uh, by Steel. The Black Wing cards are in here. These are in no particular order. Oh my gosh, I hate it. Uh, Fenrir. $50 for Fenrir. Okay, well, I guess just... <laughs> Secret Rare. Gosh, that's... I'm, I'm horrified and I'm amazed at how many of those have actually... Okay, okay. A pre sale here for fifty dollars for Cartesia. Two have sold. I'm I'm actually really, really shocked about that. Alright, I I don't fifty dollars. How many of these have sold? Seven. 
Wow, I guess if you get your listings up quick enough, you can just, just make some quick money. $40 for this, I, four have sold, I'm not really surprised to see that, but okay, um, I guess. What's the Silver Castle going for? This is one I'm more curious about. Three have sold at $40. I suppose that that's not a terrible turnaround, but that's not anything near amazing in my opinion. That's still a little bit. <laughs> News reporter for $15 to have sold. I mean, perfectly understandable, right? People want to just quickly turn these around. I, I don't have a problem with that. Ooh, we can buy the entire core. So, three Fenrir, three Unicorn, just three of everything, uh, for $183. Well, it's 90 for the Fenrirs, technically. 20s put you at 110 130 150 You're spending $30 for the rest of it. That doesn't seem too good, especially with $13 for shipping. Eh, eh let's see here. We got a, is this a whole Blackwing core? Oh, no, this is this core. Wow. Ooh. Well, I mean, you are playing with six Seeker Rares here, so I guess for $333, I'm not a super big fan of that price point either. Um, ooh, Aru Karos, it's not expensive. Okay, so I see that we're starting to push down a little bit here. $19. Um, $10 for this. This is pretty, uh, pretty good. I mean, the whole Pendulum deck isn't massively expensive. Is Atlantis for $50? Ugh. Only one is sold. Yeah, that's, that makes way more sense, and only one of those is sold. Yeah, some of these pre-sale prices. This one, $8 for the Daruma. That, just the quick undercut to make sure that you can try to get the sale. I mean, perfectly understandable at the end of the day. 35 ooh, this is much more. None of these have sold either. Well, interesting. Um, you can definitely tell that there is some undercut competition starting here. You can definitely tell where your uh, your value tree has started. Ah, some Fenrir sold for threes. One of these sold for three? Interesting. Uh, the, the new Black Feather Dragon sold for ten. Uh, one of these sold for three. That's interesting. It's interesting just to see, like, the super rares move for, like, the three dollar bracket. Like, I... Drew's worm for six dollars also kind of interesting. Um, Spellbound sold for twenty eight. You know, I'm actually fine with Spellbound moving at twenty eight. Like, I the entire community today is is kind of just like kind of lost their mind a little bit with Spellbound. They're like, oh my god, Robbie, trust me when I say this. Spellbound is the next best Yu Gi Oh card, and it's like. Guys, it says that your opponent only currently controls. They can they can bypass by summoning. They put two monsters on the field to do a link summon. I mean, if they got two more extenders after you spellbound them, they can just continue on with their play. You put two literal bricks on their field. That's literally about it. It depends on how much further that they can go. Um, a few other people in tier were talking about sending it off of the Griffin, but I, I don't know. I think people are a little bit too hype. For spellbound, it, it's good. See, one sold for forty. Uh, the Shangri La sold for three. I'm not surprised about that. Uh, the new fairy sold for ten bucks as well. That's not bad, honestly. I'm within like capacity. Wow, somebody actually somebody bought a Blackwing core. I guess for ninety bucks, it's not awful. It's a lot of ultras though, and somebody actually bought the Beastial core for three hundred and thirty-three dollars. Uh, very interesting market. Oh, man. Tactical Master. I, I wanted to pull this up, too. You know, we're starting to see a little bit of a downspin here on Runic Tips. $96. And Maid's kind of starting to fall a wee little bit. 84s. La lovely Labyrinths at 80s. Now that, you know, the new one's available in Starlight, I'm going to start seeing some interesting things there. $75 for the Drolls now. Hmm. Runic Fountains. I see that we got some uh, very interesting little things going on back here at the fountain. Still under seventy bucks. That's that's really all I care about at this point. Like as long as as long as cheaper copies are on the market, that's all you could ever really ask for. Anti spells are still fifty five dollars. Cosmics forty fours, trap tricks forty threes, and the Arians well forty bucks now. A lot of these collectors rares have definitely calmed down. Tips forties still. Uh, lovely Labyrinth, still 40s. We've seen this buyout the other day. Still doing its thing. Absolutely amazing. Hugens, eh, calm down a little bit. 
Uh, the Volleyance Wars at 17s, 15s for the big combination. But as you push down further here into the low rarities, still three bucks. You can still get all the cheap cores that you want, no problem. Well, that's pre-sales, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.